Hey, welcome back to Crypto Tanuki's channel. This time I was wondering, wouldn't it be nice to have a video sharing my very first impression of Evolution Land? I used to like the Sim, Sim City, Sim Town simulation games from Max's study. Obviously, I'm talking about millennial centralized products. Now that I'm in crypto, I enjoy the idea of play to earn, web 3.0, DAO, DeFi, etc. So I decided to try Evolution Land, the first cross-chain crypto game and the game that is being quoted as one of the top 5 NFT games. Yeah, that's the point I'd like to explore in this video. I want to share with you my very first experience in the Evolution Land game from a newbie perspective. First of all, let's introduce blockchain gaming. Blockchain NFT games are all based on collecting some assets within the game ecosystem. So far so good. Many games are like that, right? What differentiates blockchain NFT games from normal games is that in crypto games, in-game assets can be totally in gamers' control and ownership. This simple detail changes all. In NFT games, in-game items can be seen as investments, and so they tend to gain value as long as the game is increasingly adopted. Ok, but apart from that general aspect, NFT games aren't all the same. Actually, aside from Axie Infinity, Sorare, Gods Unchained and CryptoKitties, Evolution Land has a pretty original approach. Evolution Land is a virtual simulation blockchain game that supports cross-chain interactions. The game will have up to 26 continents each one on a different blockchain. Ok, enough blah blah blah. Evidently, the first thing to be done is to access evolution.land. Let's see what happens when we click this button, get started. So you will find many continents here. At the moment, five continents have been built. Atlantis is the Ethereum-based continent. Byzantine has been deployed on Tron. Columbus is deployed on Crab Network. Dawning is Hiko based and Eden is based on Polygon Network. By chance, I choose Atlantis, the first one on the left. Atlantis was the first continent of Evolution Land. This is the place where the first form of life of the metaverse appeared. Reading this small introduction on the right, we notice that God created light and Eve created the land, evolution land. So from the word go, I like this alternative to the creation story in Genesis. Eve and consequently the feminine is displaced from the origin of sin to the origin of earth. But Eve isn't a person or a god, she's an AI and represents a group of smart contracts. From this intro, I can also conclude that creationism is not the only way can originate life in evolution land. They say that other forms of life may appear by chance when mixing and reacting different substances. Well, maybe we can imagine it won't be so tricky to create new creatures since complex organic molecules already exist in evolution land. Like in the Earth, in-game assets include five resources, gold, wood, water, fire and silica, the principal constituent of sand. So organic molecules already exist, which is a big deal for life. I don't know if you noticed, but my background is in biological science, so I tend to focus on this kind of issue. Later on, in other videos, I intend to explore more about the genetic inheritance of evolution land creatures, named Apostles, 
which is a pretty fascinating topic. But okay, let's make our tour into Atlantis. What we can first notice is that Atlantis is pretty small. However, it has many different ecosystems. A desert here, ice there, beach and mountains. Another thing that caught our attention is the large buildings in the center of the map. Okay, but what should I do? How do I play Evolution in Land? To play this game, you really need to invest some money in it. Because you have to buy your land, your equipment to explore land resources, and the apostles to work in the ground. So a MetaMask wallet is a must-have to play here. And the problem is that if you want to play in Atlantis, you will have to pay Ethereum gas fee. For my budget, this is impracticable. So we got to move to another continent. I choose Eden because we can use our MetaMask for Polygon Network. This continent has another history. A natural disaster happened and life disappeared from the land. So the entire continent has to be explored. And the exciting thing here is that Eden land is rich in gold, a pretty good stimulus to venture into it. Okay, so we can notice that the land is the main asset of evolution land. The five resources are unevenly distributed in the territory. The darker the piece of land, the more minerable element it has. If you want to buy a piece of land here, you must participate in the auction or buy from other players. If you click here, you will find in green what lands are being sold and their price. Just to give you an idea of value, with $1,500, it is possible to afford light-colored land in this continent. Worth mentioning, there is a chat above where you can interact with other players. So basically, Evolution Land players need to buy their lands, drills and a mining character, the Apostle, to gain access to the resources. By mining in your private territory, you will be able to accumulate different elements that can be sold or used to synthesize new substances. You can also buy or rent an apostle here. You have to analyze its abilities, talents, genealogy, reproductive capacity, etc. To be honest, it is hard to understand all these features you must have noticed that the game is pretty complex. Also, it requires some initial injection of funds. These things are bottlenecks for low-budget noob players like me. From this first impression, I feel that Evolution Land communication and user interface should be improved to create a more newbie friend experience. I checked that Darwinia and Evolution Land community are already working on it, giving bounties for communicational content about all these complex in-game features. But overall, we must agree that the game is extremely promising. Each continent is located in a different blockchain. So cross-chain bridges are essential components of the game core value. Also, in-game assets, gold, fire, wood, water, silica, which can be obtained by mining, are tokens that can be traded for money in quick swap. That's why we can say that Evolution Land may be seen as an investment. This game rewards its players with the revenue from the game. That is the logic of play to earn. Last and after all, what I found really nice of Evolution Land is that Evolution is on its name because new continents are always being built, so new cross-chain bridges technologies are constantly being implemented 
new substances are always being synthesized and things are constantly evolving depending on players' free will, which is a pretty interesting philosophical proposal for the metaverse. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm looking forward to hear you, your thoughts and suggestions. See you in the next Crypto Tenokis video.